In this video, we are going to learn how you can send Google Drive files to Slack automatically. So let's take an example that you are a business owner who is uploading your business related documents on your Google Drive. Now you want to share the same documents with your team on Slack platform also. So here your trigger application would be Google Drive and your action application would be Slack. So whenever you're going to create a new file, you're going to upload a new file into your Google Drive, automatically the same file will be shared with your team on the Slack channel along with a message. So how you can integrate both these applications using Pabli Connect for that you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes. And you're going to get free task every month. If you're already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the All App section, come to Public Connect and click on Access Now. This is the dashboard of Public Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Send your Google Drive files to Slack. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever we upload a new file into our Google Drive specific folder, automatically the same file should be shared on our Slack account. For that first, we need to create a connection between Google Drive and Pabli Connect. So simply open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Google Drive. Select the trigger event as new file in specific folder. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Google Drive. Now here it is asking me to choose an account to continue to public connect drive. So here I am just going to choose my account. Public connect drive wants additional access to your Google account. So let's scroll down, click on continue and give away the access over here as the data is 100% safe with public connect. Authorization successful and now Google Drive account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here it is asking for the folder or subfolder name. So whenever a new uh, file will be saved in a specific folder then only the trigger is going to run. So here I want the files to be uploaded in my business documents folder. So here I will be selecting the same folder name as business documents. Okay, so as we have already created a connection between Google Drive and Pabli Connect all the folder names are captured over here. So I want whenever the document or the file is uploaded in business document folder, then only this workflow should run. So I have to select the specific folder name over here. Okay, and now before clicking on save and send test request, first we are going to upload a new file in our business documents folder. So here let's click on this plus sign new, click on file upload. And here I'm just going to upload this partnership agreement. Item is getting uploaded over here. Okay, and here we can see that a new file has been uploaded. That is partnership agreement. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect. And now we are going to click on save and send test request. And here we can see the response is received. And in the response we have got a file ID. Okay. And when we scroll down we have got the title also. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the data as the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the uh, data will surely arrive. Okay. And here also it is mentioned that this particular uh, application is going to capture the responses in every 10 minutes. Okay. The trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. Okay. So now we want that this particular file should be a shareable file. So we are going to just make this a shareable one. For that, come to this action step and choose the application name as Google Drive once again. Now select the action event as share a file with anyone. Click on connect. Click on select existing connection just because we have recently created a connection in our previous step. 
So simply click on save. Now here it is asking for the file ID. So here we have to map the file ID that we have seen in our trigger response over here. Okay, this ID. So for mapping, simply scroll down, click on this mapping button, enable it, remove this data from here, come to Google Drive and simply select your ID from here. Okay, and now let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see the response is received and here in the response we have got the shareable link of this particular file. Okay, now we want to share this file on our Slack account. So come to this plus sign and click on add action step. Choose the application name as Slack over here. Select the action event as send direct message without image. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Slack. Now here it is asking for the token type. Enter the token type as either user or bot. Know more about the Slack tokens over here. So I'm just going to click on this hyperlink here. And here we can find all the permissions access for the user as well as for the bot. So you can select it as per your requirement. In my case, I'm just giving the token type as user over here and simply click on save. Now it is asking public connect is requesting permission to access the public connect slack workspace. So I'll just click on allow to give the access over here. Authorization successful. And now slack account is connected to public connect just because I was already logged into my slack account. So make sure before creating a connection you're logged into your slack account. Now here it is asking for the user. So specify the user to receive this message from the slack board. So where do you want to receive the messages? I want to receive the messages on my slack board itself here. Okay, I'll just scroll down and show it to you. The direct message will be sent on slack board. So I am going to select the same over here. Okay, the user as slack board. Now here we have to give the message type. So the message type will be marked down. Now here it is asking for the message specify text of the message to send. For allowed markdown syntax, refer the link. So here I'll be entering the message as new document. Okay. And let us give it as added also. And after that, uh, this, I'll be adding the Google Drive link of that particular document. That is web view link that we have got from our second response. Okay. Now here it is asking for the bot name. So let us give it as new document or new doc. Okay. And if you want to specify the bot icon also, you can just give it over here. You can just map the image URL and we have mapped all the details. So now let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. It means the document is shared on our Slack account. Let's check it. Okay. And here we can see new document added and here we can find the partnership uh, agreement PDF. Let's open it. Okay, and here we can see that the partnership agreement document is shared. So in this way, our integration is working fine. Let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, now we're going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just move to my Google Drive folder once again. And here I'm just going to upload a new file from my system. So let's select this job proposal this time. Okay, and here we can see that the job proposal PDF is saved in my Google Drive folder. Now we have to check our Slack account. We have to just refresh it. And even after refreshing, we can't find the details of the file shared on our Slack account just because the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So here we have to wait for some time. Okay, now after some time, let's refresh it once again. Okay, and here we can see a new document is added over here. And here we can find the document as job proposal. Let's open this PDF file. Okay, and here we can see that this particular file is a shareable one. Okay, we can view the document. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to public connect. And I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Drive and Public Connect so that whenever you upload a new file in a specific folder, automatically the details are captured in Public Connect. Then we have applied another action step of Google Drive itself that this particular file should be a shareable one. 
and using those details we have shared the same file on our slack account and in this way we have learned that how we can send our google drive files to our slack account automatically using publicanit thank you so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using publicanit in case of any queries you can visit our pabli forum to check the pricing details of pabli connect you can visit this particular url also the link of pabli connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you everyone